We are InTouch, an intubation guidance system. Intubation is an important airway rescue technique used by healthcare professionals. Expert intubists, such as anesthesiologists in the operating room, only fail 5% on the first attempt. However, intubations performed by novice intubists, such as EMTs or residents in out-of-theater settings, fail 49% of the time. As intubation attempts increase, the rate of adverse events such as hypoxemia and cardiac arrest increase from 14% on the first attempt to approximately two-thirds of the time by the third. Let's talk about how intubation works. It's an airway rescue technique that uses a laryngoscope blade, which is placed into the volecula to lift the epiglottis and reveal the trachea. This is where an endotracheal tube is inserted to restore breathing. The gold standard solution is a video laryngoscope, which has a camera at the tip of the blade. However, the problem is that, quote, even if you have a video laryngoscope, you need to be able to know what you're looking at and know how to intubate. Where's the epiglottis? Our solution is based on the Macintosh laryngoscope. We devise a touch-based solution where we place three force sensors at the top of the blade. Pressure data is transmitted through wires that plug into the handle, making the handle reusable and the blade disposable. Components are powered with a rechargeable battery, and a Raspberry Pi Zero processes collected data and outputs whether the intubation was successful or not. Then, this result is displayed by LEDs. As the blade is inserted, the four sensors begin to collect data. Then the Pi compares the collected data and compares it to previously collected expert intubus data. If the blade is incorrectly placed, the warning LEDs turn on. The user must readjust until the laryngoscope is correctly placed, in which case the green light turns on, indicating that it's appropriate to insert the endotracheal tube. InTouch has a sensitivity of 95% and a specificity of 91%, higher than that of the video laryngoscope blade being used by expert intubists. This shows that we can very accurately and precisely predict the location of the blade. We were able to decrease the time it takes novice intubists to intubate, and we were also able to come close to the goal of only one intubation attempt needed. Here we have a novice intubist. He first puts the blade incorrectly into the esophagus. He's notified by a red light and appropriately adjusts so that the green LED lights up indicating that it's now okay to insert the endotracheal tube. Without the feedback that our device provides, he would have mistakenly intubated the esophagus, resulting in ventilation of the stomach as opposed to the lungs. A very dangerous situation.